What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about if your rhythm shooting can be affected by your visual cue settings on the jump shot creator. This one here came from a comment request and I actually want to know the answer as well because I'm really confused with this one. So let's get right into it. So now for the actual test, I'll be comparing jump and release settings. They are the minimum and maximum, so if there's really a difference, it should be obvious and unanimous. Now for the first one, I started the shot at the same time, moved the right stick from bottom to the top at the same time, and released the sticks at the same time, and they both greened. You gotta keep in mind that's jump and release, <laughs> that's both ends, and no difference. This one here is a good sign that it doesn't affect it, but just to be sure, let's have a couple more tests. Now for the next one, to make the case stronger, of course there's still some margin of error in this one, like even though they're not exactly the same, they still could green, but in here, I moved right stick up first on release and still greened. And in here, I moved right stick up on jump first and they still both greened. What I'm trying to say here is that if visual cue settings really affects your rhythm shooting, then jump should always be earlier than release. But based on these tests, that's not the case. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far. And I'm reaching 150k subs soon, so it would be really awesome if you guys can show some love by subscribing. So now going back, to make my case stronger, let's look back at this definition. In here it says, pull the stick down to start the shot, then as you see your jump shot animation reach its set point, you push the right stick up and try to match the timing and speed of the player's push motion. So in here it's clear that it was fixed, that you need to move your right stick up as you reach your set point, and you just need to mimic the push motion of the shot. So all these points are all fixed, so it means that no matter what you do on your visual cue settings, those fixed points won't be changed. So try not to be frustrated if you're trying to change your visual cue settings, and your rhythm shooting visual cues remain the same. So that's it for this one, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.